Hello! In this video, I will show you how to download and play, download, install, and play the game Evolution, the Game of Intelligent Life from 1997, published by the Discovery Channel and Interplay. Now, there aren't very many Evolution games, even still, so this game, despite being from the 90s, is still worth playing. It's still interesting, even if it is, from today's perspective, a little bit archaic and limited. But to play it, because it is from 1997, you must uh, go through a bit of a complicated process. Uh, once you've set everything up, it will be easy to use, but the steps are a little difficult at first, which is why I'm making this video. So the first thing you need to do is download the game. And lucky for you, the game is abandonware, so it can be downloaded for free on the internet. Nobody owns it anymore. And you can get it from the Internet Archive. So go to your preferred search engine, type Internet Archive, and then go to this website, and then type Evolution the Game of Intelligent Life in this field, and then you'll be brought to this screen, and you want this one. And then once you're at this screen, you download the torrent here, which is only 27 kilobytes. Because the torrent is not the game itself, but rather it is a set of instructions that your computer will use to download the game. So once you've downloaded the torrent file, you will have this, evolution underscore game underscore archive. And you need a special torrent file program to use torrent files. Now, there are many programs available. I prefer Qubit Torrent. It's very user-friendly. It's very um, unintrusive. It doesn't have lots of ads or pop-ups or anything like that. And so, and it's free, of course. So download and install Qubit Torrent. And once you've done that, you will click on this, open with Qubit Torrent, a BitTorrent client, which will then open a screen that looks like this. And you will then, in this screen, uh, choose the directory where you want to um, install the game, and then click OK, and then the download on this screen will begin. And for me, the download took about 10 minutes. However, your download speed may vary depending, of course, on your internet connection, but also on how many other people are downloading the game simultaneously. Um, it's, it could last anywhere of up to 20 or 30 minutes, maybe. But keep in mind, it is a game from 1997, so the file size is not very large. Um, and a large portion of the file size is comprised of little movies, anyway, that are... That are, that are Little, little cutscenes, I guess, in the game. And so it's the, the gameplay stuff is really n not so much. So don't, don't worry about it being a very big download. And once it's finished downloading, you will have this. This is what is called an ISO file here. And I don't know what that means, ISO, what the acronym means, but it is basically a scan of a CD-ROM, or a floppy disk, I guess. And... This means all of the data that were on the CD-ROM are copied into this file. And you need to do two things with this file. You first need to open it with your preferred zip file opener. I use WinRAR, but you can use 7-zip or um, any other program. You need to open it with a zip file opener and then extract it. And make sure this is all in the same directory as well, the same file. And once you've extracted it, you will have this. But you need to do something else as well, something very important. Once you've, ex once you've, down once you've extracted it into a file, you need to, again, right-click on the ISO file, and then click this button, which of course will not be in German for you, and mount the disk. And mounting means that you basically will trick your computer into thinking there is a CD-ROM in the disk drive, when in fact there is not. And this is very important. And you can just click OK here. These options don't really matter. If you have a preferred letter of the alphabet, you can choose that. But again, it's, it's irrelevant. And click OK. And now you can see here, my computer, in the CD drive, the, my computer thinks there is the Evolution game. And once you have done that, you need to go to this file and click, double-click on this, Auto Evo, which will open this screen. Now, if we were back in 1997 and you had the disk and you put it in your computer, this is the screen that would appear. 
And then you need to install Evolution. Now don't worry, this is a game from 1997 published by the Discovery Channel, so it doesn't come with lots of stupid malware like modern games do. And you need to install it again in the same directory. Now I wasn't very creative with my directory names, so I called this Evolution, and this is called Evolution, and then this is called Evolution, but whatever. Anyway, uh, I installed it to this, which I called Test, but unfortunately now I can't change the file name because once you've, once you've installed it, the, the directories must remain the same. So I installed it into this file, and these are the files you want. You know this is correct because these words will be in all capital letters. <sighs> and so, now that you have these files, you need to do some more things. Um, you need to go to your display settings, go to your control panel, and uh, hardware and sound, adjust your screen resolution, advanced settings, monitor, and then turn your monitor to 16-bit color, which will do this. And this is important because, again, it's a game from 1997. It uses simpler graphics. And once you've switched to 16-bit color, and remember, you have this mounted in your CD drive, you need to then double-click on this, Auto Evo. Remember, the one that's in all capital letters. Don't double-click on this one. Double-click on this one. And once you've done that, You'll get this screen again, and then start new game, and um, don't worry about this, just give it a second to boot. It'll play a little intro movie with some wonderful 1997 graphics. And you can just press escape to skip the intro movie, and then you're given the new game screen, select the options you want, and click start. And then to open the game, you need to click New Map View, and there's the game. Okay, now, somewhere along the way, you will probably have encountered one of three errors if you didn't do this properly. You might double-click on this and get an error that will look something like... Um, mem underscore bad underscore handle. If you do that, if you see this error, that means you, one, did not change your colors to 16-bit, and two, you didn't, you clicked on this executable file instead of this one. Auto Evo, that's the one you want. Don't click on this one, Evolution. And another very common problem is that when you launch the game, the game will crash immediately when you try to open the map view. And this is because of the, the graphics of the map view. And if that happens, that means that somewhere along the way, you didn't follow one of my instructions. And I'm not exactly sure what causes this error, unfortunately, but regardless, you can fix it if you just go through the steps again and see what where you deviated from my instructions. Hopefully, that will help you with installing and playing the game. I will make another video where I, well, I play the game, where I show you how to play the game, but I thought this should be a separate video because the installation process is rather complicated, and I just sped through it a few minutes. Probably for you, it'll take a little bit longer.